Biggie me, do we have control of all video transmissions? Excellent. Now the world will know the true meaning of evil. This time, Mr. Buff will die! <laughs> Biggie me, are we live? Good. As you can see behind me is Mr. Buff with a large rocket strapped to his back. He has five minutes to make me a delicious recipe or he will die. <laughs> Biggie me, light the fuse. Good luck, Mr. Buff. <laughs> But mom. Yes? I've been kidnapped. Again? Yeah, I know. But this time I'm strapped to a giant rocket. And if I don't make the perfect recipe in five minutes, I'm gonna explode. Okay, what ingredients are we working with? Hmm. Ah, one small head of cauliflower, shredded cheddar cheese, two eggs, cornmeal, salt, pepper, and two slices of turkey bacon. Oh, and these are the tools you'll need. Processor, parchment paper, a baking pan, a clean towel, cutting board, meat cleaver, measuring cups, mixing bowl, spatula, spoon, scoop, and a hot pad. Now first we need to rice the cauliflower. Roughly chop it into small pieces. Place these into your food processor and turn it on. It should only take a minute or two for it all to become rice-like. Next, lay the kitchen towel on the table. Pour all the cauliflower onto the towel in a pile. Pull the corners and sides of the towel straight up and start to twist it over either a bowl or a sink. You want to twist it harder and harder to squeeze out as much of the liquid as possible. This is where being buff comes in handy. Uh, uh, yeah. Place the dried out cauliflower in that clean bowl. Now add one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, one quarter cup cornmeal, one quarter cup bacon bits, one teaspoon salt, a few shakes of the pepper. Mix these all up until it's very well blended. Now crack two eggs over the mixture. You can use that spoon or if your hands are clean, mix this all up until it's well combined. Place some parchment paper onto the baking sheet. Take the little scoop and scoop out equal portions and place them onto the baking sheet. Once that's all done, you're gonna use your hands and form them into little tater tot shapes. Now pop them into your 400 degree preheated oven for 20 to 20 minutes. If you like, you can flip them over after 10 minutes to help them crisp on all sides. Biggie me, give me a nook. Heavily. Mm. Delicious. What's up with this bomb? It didn't even go off. The Rocco is fake. It was all part of my evil plan to get you to make me a delicious snack, Mr. Buff. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Until next time, Mr. Buff. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this episode of James Buff. It was a lot of fun. And we'll see you again next time for the third installment. But we have a problem. That's true. We need you watching this video right now to comment and let us know what his name should be. Right, Biggie Me? Biggie Me says yeah. <laughs>